Right guys, I thought I'd make this video to talk about what, in my opinion, is the biggest danger of lucid dreaming. This is something that you should really consider before you start learning how to lucid dream. Um, so if you are watching this video for the first time, please just pay attention. This is really important, especially if you've considered lucid dreaming or if you've had one before. Just put, away, put whatever you're doing away and just pay attention until the end of the video because I'm going to be giving you some really useful information and tips here. Some, uh, something really useful that's going to save you a lot of time and it's also going to help you avoid this danger. So what is this danger? The, the biggest danger of lucid dreaming is to have false memories. And let me explain what I mean by this. So when you when you have experiences during your waking life, right, these are your, your normal memories. These are encoded into your mind and over time you look back on these things and they you know you know how the memory works, right? You look back on them and you can experience them again. Now the danger is that when you lucid dream, if you lucid dream in the wrong way, and I'm gonna tell you in a minute how to avoid that and how to lucid dream in the right way, but if you do it wrong you're going to create lucid memories that are going to be indistinguishable from your real memories. You're not going to be able to tell what was a dream and what was a uh, reality. And this can happen, you know, you can get this confusion even a week from when you had the dream. So you could literally have a lucid dream, do it wrong, create a false memory, and then in a few days time or in a week's time, when you look back you won't actually be able to tell which part was a dream and which was real. And this is really dangerous. The reason it's dangerous is because you could have entire conversations with people. You know, you could you could have entire conversations with people, like with your spouse or with your boss or with your friends, that never happened. And when you remember those conversations that never happened, in your mind they have happened, in their mind they haven't, because in reality you haven't had the conversation. You'll be involved in arguments, you'll be confused, anxious, you know, people are gonna interpret you wrong simply because you're remembering things that haven't actually happened. Now, you'll notice I mentioned conversations, because conversations are the biggest thing that you can get confused with, you know, a, a dream, a lucid dream conversation and a reality conversation in the actual waking, in the waking world. The biggest mistake beginners make is they lucid dream about things that they experience in waking life regularly. You should never do that. You know, listen to more experience and you can definitely tell the difference between the two things. Because if you lucid dream about things that you experience during waking life, that's it, you know, you're going to be confused. You're not going to be able to tell the difference between the two types of memory. That's going to lead to you being confused, have arguments, you know, people won't understand what you're talking about because you're remembering something that didn't happen. Now, in a lucid dream, the way our neurons work in our brain, they fire in exactly the same way that they would if you did the thing in real life. So what this means is that for the most part, you know, there are some exceptions and I'm sort of simplifying the physiology here, but for the most part when you dream about something, whether that's climbing a mountain or swimming or whatever, the same neural circuits fire in your brain as if you had actually done it. You know, so if you compared the two, they'd look the same. Your brain can't tell the difference between dreams and reality. You can, right? But when you start mixing things, when you start doing things that you could have experienced in reality, then you start to blur the line. And obviously your brain can't tell the difference, so then when you look back on these memories, you also can't tell the difference. So let me give you an example. Let's say if you had a lucid dream about flying around Pluto. Now to your brain, you have actually flown around Pluto. You know, when you, if you ever were able to do that in, rea in reality, the same neural circuits would fire when you do it in reality and when you do it in a lucid dream. But obviously when you wake up, you can very clearly say to yourself, oh, well, that was obviously a dream because nobody can fly around Pluto. And in the same way, in a year's time, when you look back on that dream, you can still say, obviously, oh, that was a dream when I, when I flew around Pluto. I didn't actually do that, right? However, if you have a lucid dream about having an argument with your boss, that is something that could happen in reality. The same neural circuits fire, so to your brain, you've actually had the argument, but in a year's time, or you know, even a, a week or two's time, when you look back on that, on that memory, you won't be able to tell whether you actually had the argument with your boss or whether it was a dream. Unless you obviously make a note in your dream journal and then keep looking back, but we often don't do that. When we're out and about in, in the waking world, we don't, we don't always think, when, when we look back on our memories, we don't always think, was that real or was that a dream? We just take it for granted that that was our memory, especially if it's something that we're seeing and, and experiencing every day. So let's just loop this back around to avoid that and to always make sure that you write your memories in the right way. Don't lucid dream about things that could happen in real life. 
And if you do have to, like for example, if you're practicing for a job interview, which is actually something you can use lucid dreaming for, make sure you write a note of it in your dream journal and make sure that when you wake up, you clearly remind yourself that it wasn't real, that it was a dream to prepare you for the reality. This is so important, guys. I can't emphasize this enough. Anyway, that is the biggest danger of lucid dreaming, in my opinion, is false memories because it's going to interfere and confuse your real life, your waking life. Done. Thank you.